out of the new update. Uh, by Quinn. The car and footage. And apparently, according to Yola, later parted ways with Quinn as a business partner. But it was Quinn who wrote this entire thing up and failed to tell Rain what exactly he had to do. And even some of the things that he had Rain do, apparently Rain wasn't even aware of any of the stuff in this contract. Which, to Yola's credit, that's not his fault. Chill, come on, y'all are just going way too overboard. I know okay, it is, that is kind of weird, but it's like, who called, it? no, did Rain call him out first? But see, so it's like, the only person who he knows is Yola in the situation, right? So it's like, how's he going to go to Quinn if he doesn't even fucking know who the fuck Quinn is? But then again, I see it from another perspective too. But it's like, it's just all a bad situation, and they shouldn't have exposed each other out. They should have just fucking discussed it and shit. But here we are. Uh <laughs> like Yola, and that's fine. He's a cool dude, but chill. So a few things I want to address. Um, where I think I went wrong, where I think he went wrong, and I just don't. Again, I just don't like how he's trying to make it subjective. Let's just keep it objective, bro. Video did not need to be an hour and a half. There's nothing to talk not about. Not exactly. That long See, to paint a like story. Yola kind of killed him out, bro. He's like, I don't want to be here and make a YouTube video or talk about it on my podcast, bro. You made a two-hour response, bro. You kind of care, bro. Let's not. Let's be fair, right here. Sorry <laughs> to make it seem like you're a lot more right than you are. You are right in a few things, and I will address that right now. In the sense that I shouldn't have had my partner negotiate for me. That I'll never do again. That one I'm never gonna do again. I'm never let anybody speak on my behalf because. He made some mistakes there, and he honestly taught me that lesson because I've never had anybody, other than the famous horrible people, but I've never had anybody lie to that extent to try to make a deal go through. And he really did, had no ill intent with that. He just wanted the deal to go through, right? Because I'm not passionate about moving a weed pen. And this continues where apparently it was Quinn, not Rain. Remember, Quinn is representing Rain in this situation, who offered for them to pay those 50% of upfront costs for 50% of the profits. According to Rain, he had no idea Quinn was even offering that up because if he did, he never would have done the deal. So it sounds like this Why the F are you making a video about it in your car? To say and do no. anything for the deal to go through. Yeah, Rain see, because they, they have a full beef now at this point. It, right? Like, this because is the fifth the response. He was told by Rain, Quinn like, is Rain. Two Quinn hours. Rain. Yeah, the other guy, Dope is Yola, made a response to Yola should do what Quinn writes out in the contract. While he was going to explain it, but <laughs> I just skipped to this part. Also says that he never so basically, they had a beef on his main YouTube over channel. A, he would never a dab post pen, that and then bean. it never came to the I public to until that. Rain I talked like about it on a podcast. All right, you guys and then after that, mean. he made the two hour response video. Kind of Rain made a few stories. I made a YouTube video about that like two days ago. You can watch. And then now we're here. He said that was a main part of this contract because when you collab with Phase Rain, you want your to war expand into another audience right? and so that's troops. when this whole thing of rain bringing in eric khan who is a great creator but it's not the creator they initially collab with on this launch you want your audience to branch out into a new channel and a new audience that is phase reigns and so if he's not posting to his main youtube channel that is a main contractual obligation not met but according to rain he was never willing to do that so again i'm like quinn what, what also quinn on? was rain's fan but he wasn't weed. telling oh, him. Pens, bro. That's even worse. By the way, I thought I was dying in the bathroom because of that weed pen. They made me hit a blinker. Bro, I don't hit pens or concentrates or anything like that. Like, I don't smoke any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? see, I don't know what the fuck was in there. Nah, uh, low-key. Like, bro, I was in, like, John's bathroom. Like, his story just bathroom. painted a bad yeah. picture. The car but, video um, it's still, I just, I'm not used is to that low-key a better response. I'm not used to that type of chemical. I'm not used to that type of I don't take edibles regardless. his stories... He life. seemed kind of like those cooked. lean shit or the THC. He just like answered syrup. it too fast. You know, like you only got sixty best, seconds. It's, cool. it's not terrible either, but yeah. Regardless, though, I want to talk about all the text. I want to show you guys all the text that we've had. Where I was extremely rational and cool up until he gave me a reason not to be right because I started to feel a lot of like weird shit going on and I, he didn't mention any of it. I asked somebody who watched the full video, did he mention any of this? And of course he didn't. Of course, but it's okay. Again, I'm not even trying to like make him seem like he's the worst person in the world maybe he doesn't handle his deal the best and the way that he's handling it publicly feels pretty disingenuous but this is you guys be the judge right you, it's your it's your shit man y'all be the judge of this y'all think i'm wrong i'll gladly accept the L. wait Apologize so what did that. rain you know, say to on the yesterday. podcast to start this off actually he shows out here doesn't he yeah, because it, it couldn't have been that terrible to we'll be going over reigns. But to give you guys that initial clip, it was actually Faze Rain on Swag's podcast who called out Yola. 
lot he's of this. I know he said he's a scammer. Like, okay. That commission shit. I get it in the beginning. It's good in the beginning. Like when I was 15, amazing. But like you know, when you start doing your shit, you're not doing no damn commission shit. Hell no. Like without no. a payment up front. You know what I mean? I even got scammed by this dope Yola dude. I did like a weed pen thing, but he's very fat, so I don't care. He loses in life. Been vegan seven years, still fat, so he's losing. So I'm glad he has the extra hundred k. I hope it makes his life better. You know what I mean? That's wicked. So after the car, so he did call him a scammer for a hundred k. Yeah, see, Rain was feeling. He was kind of fried. I feel like <laughs> he's just like hyped up. Again, I've been super transparent. But I feel like everything I've needed to say. It was a misunderstanding oh, between the so both of them from this and one the guy this in the middle. Goes on, it just seems like a massive exactly. miscommunication, and I, I don't mean to come at rain. I got no hard feelings. I don't really care too much about this. Again, I, I like both sides. Like I've said before many a times, the first introduction I had to Yolo was with his podcast with Rain, and they were a great time. So when you see these two who had great content together in the past, and seemingly a great, cool collaboration opportunity. I do hope they eventually make up, but it seems by this point down the road that Who Rain could have guessed I ended up here at 8 a.m. watching that. had no idea what he was supposed to be doing for these contractual like obligations. It? Yeah, it is 8 and this far too. down the road, we are months in where Rain still had no idea what early. the splits were supposed to be. And it seemed like a massive confusion on both sides because Rain didn't know what was going on. Who knows what Quinn was doing? And Yola is just trying to accommodate and go along and see by the end of this what makes the most sense. And so when they start talking about reducing the splits, I don't think either side knew what the splits were even supposed to be at that point, based off what Rain had done and hadn't done. Uh, whatever. And same reason I promote one SKU while you have so many others. John kept wanting me to say, this is my company too, Ob when it was not. But if you want to make me feel cared for at all, I don't know why we want to do the easier product to promote that's already organic. That's just how I felt, right? Because at dinner, we went to this place, El Pasteo. The whole time, the dude John from Hash House, he's like one of uh, Yola's partners. Bro, say it's your company too, bro. Bro, say it's your company too. Just say it's your company. I'm like, bro, it's not my okay. company though. Like, it's not my company. I'm doing one skew with you guys. It's your company at the end of the day. You guys win everything. So I just, because they wanted me to over promote their brand. Like, bro, it's like, they think go and sleep if you have not slept yet. Come on, bro. No, I just got on I, it. I'm like, how long ago? I said, no, bro, don't worry. I understand you're not like the one. Like, two hours ago, maybe. Regardless. But this communication here has kind of sucked. And obviously, Quinn has a lot to blame for all of it, even though. Because there's, or whatever, Quinn. I just woke up, I got on stream. Because I had this pack to open. Quinn is a lot to blame for a lot of it, even with Eric now. I had work to do. (laughs) But you know what I mean? I was just saying, I don't know why I typed it that way. I was probably just like flustered. I was like, bro, what the hell's going on? Like, I've been waiting for this for months. And of course, I'm like, well, you're a junkie. Shut the hell up, bro. (laughs) But it's funny, whatever. I'll take, it's a funny joke. I don't care. And then I messaged John as well. I said, yo, yo, you want to call me a little bit? I'll put the text on the screen so you guys can read it. I was being cool, bro. I was being cool. I was being rational. These motherfuckers were not responding to me. They were just acting like, oh, we're super busy smoking weed and hitting dabs. We don't got time to reply. But whatever. That's fine, okay? But that was my understanding, right? Is that in my head, I mean, I know it was my partner that lied. And that's why I took accountability for him. I realized at the end of the day, I told him to do that. I'll take responsibility. I'll just lower, let's lower the splits. And he said, no, it's all good. So I guess when I told him I wanted to lower the splits, in his head it was 25, in my head it was 50. Because I was like, okay, definitely don't need to take 50%. If we didn't front the cost that they expected and they're unhappy, that's fine. We can just lower splits. I just want to pay Erica so he's happy. Everything's all good. But he said, nah, bro, we don't need to adjust the splits. I don't even know what month that was when I post- posted that first text. But it was a long time ago. And then Rain talks about text all the way back to April and March, which is actually recently, uh, according to this deal, right? This is now several months in the deal. And they do seem cordial up until this point. It seems like the next couple of months after this, where things kind of go yeah, where does he uh, like get angry enough to call him a scammer like that's where i don't get <laughs> the, the way it was set up and um yeah I, I mean again it's hard not to go back on you know what yola and his team initially agreed upon which was put into contract by rain's business partner and so you assume rain had known about all of that like the initial agreement was what everyone had signed off on even though the contract was not technically signed it was you know expected to be abided by uh, yeah. January, bro. January. I waited so long. Then it's never replied. And I low-key just was expecting them to think that I would never hit them up and they just keep all the money, right? So then another text here is, I hit up Yola. I said, I never got the products, by the way, LMFAO, but any update on anything, even just general numbers? March 22nd, no reply. Question mark, question mark, no reply. Four days later, I said, say less. Because I'm like, bro, it's like five days. And then Yola says, yo, please hit up John or Claudio. I have COVID. I've been sleeping for days. And they gave me some promo. Oh, who's the drug addict now? Yeah, some <laughs> 
The day in the life of a true streamer, I guess. Wake up at 8 a.m., start streaming right away, open packs, repeat. No, I'm not opening packs until 8k. Give me 8k subscribers. I'll open another pack. Lower close. Don't think I'm being a douchebag. I really don't. Like every pack I've had with them, even down to eight, here's another one. Let me know that, bro. What are the updates of the numbers and all just because I haven't been in the loop, not even once. He says, yo, what up? What did John and Claudio say when you hit them up that day? I said, I did it. I was waiting for you to feel better. Got no contact with Claudio. And when I did hit John with the last thing, he goes, it's obviously not hitting him again. Because they're not responding, bro. So it's like, I'm not going to keep messaging them like, so a, see, like a thirsty eagle. Yeah. I'm not doing none of that. He it's said, like okay, the misunderstanding care, runs so deep. It's like the one guy told him the deal's good. The other guy told him he's gonna make a hundred videos of promo, and so they're both looking at each other like, "What happened?" <laughs> and it's all along this one guy who cooked them both. No. Bet. Yeah, go tell your grandma to subscribe. The ignorance and acting like he's not a part of it. Oh, Claudia knows everything. I don't know anything. It's just, come on, bro. They said I'll give you Claudia's number. Just text him and figure it out. I don't know any of the numbers, man. So, it's just, uh, and then I finally hit Claudio, and he, he just pretty much makes it sound like he's not going to pay me. He says, what are you talking about? You guys enjoyed the, uh, there is no deal. What are you talking about? You guys enjoyed any of the work that you're supposed to. And it's like, bro, I, I'm not saying I did above and beyond, but of course I'm not going to go above and beyond for a business that's not mine, bro. It's not my business. And I've made that very, very clear to them. I'm like, this is a single product brand deal. So, I'm going to do what I can, and I've never been paid a dollar for it. So, why are you expecting me to be so excited to do it? I posted stuff, like, before the launch, like, probably three posts before the launch. During the launch, like I've, I tried, obviously not like insane, but at the same time, the communication, they weren't giving me product. I'm not going to post static flyers or just me talking about with nothing in hand. Like I didn't want to do that, and I made it very clear. And that's why he even said, what did you say here? I don't remember the last one. But I asked him three times for product. Nobody sent it. Sent them my ID. Nobody sent it. I just kept asking. So I don't know what you want me to do, right? Damn. But again, fair with whatever. If you guys are still following, and you guys aren't being biased, I didn't really appreciate that. They kind of put him in a bad predicament. Let's be fair. They June, both. This a month ago. So just so we're clear, and Claudio Yola like kind of went it too in on him, but he did call him a scammer. I took responsibility for that. I don't know. This is actually know, such. A, this is a hard situation to fucking. Because <laughs> it's like they both are kind of in the right. Let's be fair. Three years, and I've worked very hard over the last year to be healthy, bro. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm promise you. We need to. Uh, we we need to annihilate the guy Quinn or whatever. We need to publicly execute him. Like, that's just <laughs> so the whole junkie shit trying to like invalidate me, trying to make it seem like I'm crazy. It's just pretty fucked up. Yeah, but see, yeah, everyone in my comments was kind of saying he's crazy, and now I feel bad. Uh, I know who I am. You know, I know um, what I stand for. See, like, I know what I the, it's basis. just the stories the made him come off so I'm bad. I feel like so it's not like because it's it just 60 feelings, seconds. Just like, he's like. Doing it so Mom, fast, like, crazy. Like, uh, you guys have to hear our people before you he come comes off like a crazy like rant. Like, you need more evidence. For this him, car right? video, so you get to hear him out. He gets to actually explain himself. 